Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com and it's everybody's favorite time of year, Firestone Walker anniversary time of year. And this year, number 18, coming in at 13% alcohol by volume. Now, if you guys don't know what the Firestone Walker anniversary beers are, shame on you, number one. But basically what they do is they take a ton of their variations of beers that have been aged in different types of barrels. Some have been aged in stainless steel tanks and they get a bunch of winemakers together. They have a big blending set where all the winemakers kind of compete against one each other against each other to see you come up with the best blend and the blend that wins is the one that goes into the anniversary ale this year this year they use 227 different oak barrels uh, the beers included in the blend are parabola Hel Dorado Bravo sticky monkey uh, velvet Merkin hydra cuvee woody wookie Jack old leghorn and double Jack uh, the biggest component of this year's is parabola coming at 38 percent Hell Dorado at 16% and Bravo at 16%. So it's definitely going to have a bourbon barrel, you know, an imperial stout kind of vibe to it. Uh, each year, again, the blends are all different, different components, different percentages. So they've been, they're different every year and they're, you know, they're, they're, they stand on their own every year. So let me get this one into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give me the final verdict on Firestone Walker's 18th anniversary. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Firestone 18. Classic Firestone, huge toasted coconut, vanilla, bourbon, that whiskey kind of spiciness in there, chocolate, coffee, some dark fruits, just an epic smelling beer. All right, guys, the taste of Firestone anniversary. Cheers. Oh, wow. Wow, massive toasted coconut right at the front of the mouth. I always get a ton of toasted coconut in Firestone beers, uh, barrel aged beers, I should say. Chocolate, espresso, middle of the mouth, big, big kind of dark fruit sweetness, a little bit of uh, plummy cherry, dark cherry type of character in there. Uh, maybe like a chocolate covered cherry. Some more of that bourbon coming through, vanilla, more toasted coconut. In the back, definitely getting a little bit of heat from the alcohol, a little bit of sweetness, a residual sweetness in there. Again, more vanilla, more coconut, a little bit of oakiness, a little bit of chocolate uh, left over in there as well. I will definitely say you definitely can pull the parabola out of this one if you've had, it's like a amped up parabola. A little bit of dark fruit complexity to it, a little bit of a, a barley wine, kind of English barley wine uh, complexity to it as well. It's, you know, 13%. It's a big beer. It feels like a big, chewy, barrel-aged beer, but it goes down some Surprisingly nice. It's awesome stuff. All right, guys. So the final verdict on the Firestone Walker 18, 13% alcohol by volume. Get it while you can, guys. This one is getting an A+, and I will go out on saying this is probably, and I got to think back a little bit, probably my favorite anniversary blend. So so far, um, just because it is so cohesive. Some of the other blends, definitely some of the beers stand out. Um, they've been, some. Uh, I think 15 for me was a little bit hot, uh, but this one, you know, it's real smooth. There's a lot of bourbon barrel to it, a lot of that, um, a kind of chewy imperial stout, but it's got some of that barley wine bite in there as well. All that, you know, those barrels just shine in this one. They accentuate, they don't overtake anything. No real, no beer really kind of takes the stage from any of the other beers. They all kind of stand out. It's blended absolutely perfectly. Again, Firestone Walker, I've said it once, I will say it a million times. They are at the top of the barrel aging game by far, some of the best in the world. So, with that said, you know, it's another A plus from Firestone Walker's anniversary series. Just an awesome beer and I just, I, I'm so glad they continue to make these because it's a treat every single year. So getting an A plus from me and my folks slice too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.